Welcome back everybody to another tutorial video where today I will be showing you how to replace the thermocouple on the Ibex furnaces. In this demonstration I'll be using the pressing furnace. The porcelain furnace happens to be the same way except you don't have all these cables on the top of your furnace. Alright, a few tools you'll need. You have the choice between a half inch wrench or a 13 millimeter wrench. You also need a small handheld mirror and if you're installing the existing thermocouple on a new muffle you'll need some half inch Teflon tape. Alright, so to start off, what you're going to want to do is unplug the thermocouple from the thermocouple connector. Once unplugged, you can either stand the thermocouple straight up or you can scrunch it down like I'm doing in this example. Next, you want to remove the air hoses as well as the press sensors. To remove the hoses, press inwards on the blue tabs and pull the hose outwards. You can set them in the slots on the side of the furnace. To undo the sensors, simply press on the little clips and that unlocks them and pull them out. The next step is to go ahead and untighten your thermocouple. So grab that 13 millimeter wrench or half inch wrench and untighten it. You may need to use a little force, so you can either grab the pressing cylinder if you have a pressing furnace, or you can grab the side of your chamber, which would give you more stability. If you're grabbing the side of the chamber, please be careful if you have a silver plate as your muffle plate, for it is sharp and it can cut you. Once the thermocouple is completely untightened, go ahead and pull the thermocouple out of the furnace. At this time, if you're replacing the thermocouple with a new thermocouple, go ahead and grab your new one and set it close by. If you're replacing your muffle and you're putting your existing thermocouple inside of your new muffle, go ahead and take the white Teflon tape off of your previous thermocouple and grab your roll of Teflon tape. You can get this Teflon tape at any hardware store located in the United States, but it must be half inch wide. So when reapplying the tape to your thermocouple, you want to look for the black marker or the numbers on your thermocouple, depending on what thermocouple you had and when it was made. I use the numbers in this example, but it doesn't matter if you use the marker either. Simply take your tape and put it on your mark and twist it to the right. You want to make four to four and a half revolutions around your thermocouple to make sure you have a thick enough seal so that you don't have a vacuum leak. Alright, once you have reapplied your Teflon tape to your thermocouple or you grab your new thermocouple, go ahead and take it and insert it into the slot, the thermocouple slot, in your muffle plate. Once inserted, you only want to turn the thermocouple enough to get it started and catch onto the threads. Once they catch on, we will move on to the next section. Alright, once you have that started, you want to go ahead and locate the black line that you had when you put it on your thermocouple or the numbers. Once you find that black line, you want to rotate it or tighten the thermocouple three rotations. Once you have that done, we will continue to look at where the thermocouple is on the inside of the furnace to make sure it is lined up correctly. Alright, the next step is to get a handheld mirror. I have mine propped up with some tape, but you can just hold yours as you're tightening your thermocouple. What this does is to help you determine where your thermocouple it needs to be resting and how much further you need to go. Alright, once you have your mirror set up, you're going to want to watch your thermocouple as you're tightening it down. So, there's the thermocouple on my mirror. So again, as you're tightening it, you want to try and make it perpendicular with the radiance ring. So here's what I mean by perpendicular. This is the perpendicular symbol. It is also known as a plus sign or the positive symbol. 
Once your thermocouple is perpendicular with your radiance ring, you want to go ahead and tighten it one more revolution. Once you've tightened it that revolution, if it still feels a little loose, go ahead and tighten it another half revolution. You want to make sure your thermocouple is tight so that when you're using a vacuum in a program, you're not leaking anything through your thermocouple. Here are a series of photos that your thermocouple should look like. If you need to, go ahead and pause the video now to make sure your thermocouple looks like these photos. Alright, to finish off, we need to connect all the cables back into the respective slots. So go ahead and take your thermocouple and put it back into the thermocouple connector. Do make sure that the thicker end goes on the bottom and the thinner end goes on the top of the thermocouple connector. Alright, once done, make sure that the thermocouple lead is not touching the heating element leads. That's the black and white wires right there. Next is to take your blue air hose and connect them accordingly. The longer one will go into the top slot where the shorter one will go into the bottom slot. Lastly is your press sensors, making sure the upper press sensor goes in the upper cable connector and the lower press sensor goes into the lower cable connector. All right, after you have those connected, do make sure everything's tightened and locked in and not loose, and then you're good to go. You may go ahead and replace your uh, covers back onto the furnace and start using it again. All right, if you have any further questions, I will leave our contact information in the description. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified of when we post more videos. And thank you very much for watching. Adios!